Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Live from Harlem in New York, it's me, Alex, in the Ramble. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, oh, I'm, hi, everybody. See, I started recording and you were talking. But that's okay. That's yeah. Chuck Farnham, who uh, the last time we did this, I pushed the wrong button and I started streaming and the whole thing went out live. So people got to see you live. Oh boy! If they picked That's up fun. on it, I wonder I how. I, to... I wonder how many people were watching it live. Hold on a second. Sad individuals. Huh? Sad individuals. Yeah, nothing to do yeah. with their lives. But um, we had uh, uh, three views. I guess people weren't. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, that was three watching views. Yourself. Watching ourselves. Watching ourselves. Huh? Are we watching ourselves? Watching ourselves? Yeah. No, no I'm just I was just trying to see how many people were were watching this. But anyway. So, so Listen, few- when we finished last time, uh, and this may be the first time they hear about this. Depending on you how you look you, at it. Your, your stepfather. Later that same week. Your stepfather, who you went to high school with, <laughs> God, yeah. is, is in the hospital. He's in the hospital. What's, not he, feeling what's he got? Great. What's he got? Currently there, well, he had diabetes, and... He's got a bunch of, uh, he has pneumonia at the moment because he aspirated some food and there are uh, clots in his lungs and other places and things aren't great, you know, Mm -hmm. and not great for him. Not great for him. But Uh, we're hoping everything comes through okay. Probably by the time you guys see this, you know, maybe we'll have another conversation and he's doing great and running around the country. Yeah. Yeah, but how old is he? 67, 68. Wow. Wow. It's young. And I can I know how to bl- and I know who to blame this whole thing on. He was a truck driver. And truck drivers in this country and feel free if there're truck drivers out there and they can yell at me all you want. Truck drivers in this country go get physicals. You know, you drive by a truck stop and it says, "We we do physicals." They They get physicals from chiropractors because chiropractors don't, the government, the the DOT allows chiropractors to give guys, uh, truck drivers, uh, uh, physicals. Mm -hmm. And they don't do anything. It's like they don't test you for diabetes. They don't, they look at you and go, ah, maybe you should lose a little weight here, some vitamins, and send you on your way. Well, he had diabetes for a long time and did not know it because every time he went to a physical, it was a chiropractor. Really? And a lot of truck drivers do this because chiropractors always pass truck drivers for medical it, tests. Is, it, is a chiropractor uh, licensed to do that? Licensed to mess with your, well, according because to I, the DOT, they're, they're licensed to give you a physical. My, my, um, my wife goes to a chiropractor once every couple of weeks. Has been doing right. it ever since we've been together. Sure. And uh, I don't like chiropractors. I just feel feel it's phony science, okay? Well, it's weird. And if, you're, if there are chiropractors out there who are bothered by what I just said, good, okay. But well, they all get their license from the same place. So I don't know, I had a bad back or something was bothering me. She'd go to my chiropractor, go. Go to the chiropractor. And I even had some x-rays of the part we were going to go look at and uh, he said okay well let me just do a few adjustments here things like that you know whatever I walk out right. I don't feel any better than when I walked in yeah it, you know I think it and, and, and I said I don't feel any better and he said well it takes a couple of, of, of sessions before yeah. you'll start feeling better and I went gee that's funny because when I go to a normal doctor I start feeling better right after we're through going there. I mean, I feel 100% better, 
But, you know, he gives me a pill or he gives me a shot or he does right. something that when I walk out, I feel better. If, so if yeah, I don't feel better. These guys don't give you a pill. I, these if guys I, they are can't, not allowed to give you pills. Right. If I don't feel better after the first visit, I'm not going back. And I told Marjorie, right. I said, this is, you know, it's a, it's a quacks business, you know? Uh, it's weird. You know. I, I had them fix me once. And it worked, and I had him not fix me once, and it really hurt. So now I kind of mm. yeah, yeah. I don't I I don't believe in chiropractic. Yeah, you yeah. know yeah, they're weird. You know, they're weird guys, and they think they're doctors, but they're you know that's you know like you and I saying we're a doctor of whatever. Well, it was like on Two and a Half Men, the brother was a chiropractor, and he always kept exactly making, making fun of. Them. You're not really and that's a doctor. Kind of how they operate. Any chiropractor you've ever met is kind of like Alan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can help you. I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. So he's in, the, you know, in the hospital, and I'm driving around in the hospital. Oh, I knew what I wanted to talk about. I knew it. So two weeks ago, I'm in, uh, you know, San Ramon. Mm -hmm. First time ever this happens. Guy walks up to me and goes, "Hey, I know you. You're on Alex Bennett's cabinet." And I'm spinning around. I'm like, man, I've been known for a lot of things in my day, but Gabnet never came out of the old pie. And he was an old listener at the uh, Live 105. Mm -hmm. And he listens to you on Gabnet. Uh, hey, buddy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I spent, basically spent three or four days with a guy at a uh, giant amateur radio convention. And uh, it was nice to know that, you know, some, were, uh, he's uh, he oh he, in case he's listening. So you're the one. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, and he watches you and Marjorie wander around the park. We talked about it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and we, I watch him when he does those things in the park. We oh. haven't done that in a while since my uh, fall, because yeah. I, I too I have to take a cane with me when I walk. Not not because I need it, you know, to take care of me, but I it's there in case I fall. Right. You know. So I yeah. don't I don't I don't walk very far anymore. I'm it's terrible. I uh, I I've given up on walking. So I'm hoping that when we go on these vacations, I'll start walking more. You know. Where, where are you going? I don't know. We haven't decided yet. One of the things is we uh, we're maybe going to get a villa in Tuscany for a couple of weeks. Well, I thought you said Texas there for a minute. No, Tuscany. Oh, Tuscany. Yeah. That sounds nice. Which is in uh, Italy. Yeah. See the Pope? No, I don't want to see the Pope. No. I want to see any That's, of that. I want like to see. Oh, I've been to Tus. We've been to Tuscany before, and it's it's gorgeous. Oh. There's something about the light and everything else. It's just it's perfect, you know. I'm so, still working on the train trip. So you know we're coming into some cash. So eventually, so we're just thinking of of traveling, you know. I mean, we we hope we hope that this will not be our will only be our second home. That everywhere else in the world will be our first. You know. There you go. What about uh, the Middle East? Uh, no? Yeah, sure. I want to go there. I think I was thinking of taking a vacation in Gaza. Yeah. I, I hear mean, there's I, like two inches in Gaza that hasn't been blown yeah. to bits. No, yeah. Man. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I bet the hotels are cheap. Finally, the United States today, this is maybe several weeks later when we play this thing, but the United right. States finally said, you know, we really suggest you take a couple of days off and let people get out of the country. Yeah. You know? uh, but that's about time that we did that. You know, what I would have said is stop the bombing. No money for you unless you stop the bombing. You know, you want to protect your right. country? Protect your country, but don't go into another country and blast it to bits. Well, as they, they said, they said this is the thing that got me the other day. Well, we killed 12 members of Hamas. Well, how many yeah. people did you kill getting to them? To them, yeah. yeah. You know, hundreds? We Or thousand. Yeah. You look at those buildings. How, how many little all... children are dead because you got to those 12 guys? There's, the proportion is not right, okay? You know? Right. They, well, they don't have a proportional response. They they have the rule, what they were calling apparently the rules of war. 
There are rules of war. Oh yeah, there are rules of war. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's, well, look, there, wait a minute. There's the but Geneva I'm, Conventions, and really, what they are, are rules of war. When I when I was a kid and got in a fight and you know whatever, I I bit little Tommy Kleiner in the face. Okay. <laughs> And he goes, you can't do that. You can't do it. What the hell are you doing? I go, you started punching me. And he goes, you can't bite people in the face in a fight. And I'm like, I didn't ever get rules on this. And why not? We used to fight, stop the minute I bit you in the face. Yeah. You yeah. know, and, um, you know, decades later, he still remembers that. Yeah. Oh. And I did bite him in the face because he was about to knock a bunch of stuff off the wall in, in our house and my dad was going to kick my ass if that happened so but, but they don't have that why, and why, did, why have, did you choose the face to bite him why didn't you just kick him in the balls well because we were already on the ground he'd already knocked me down mm -hmm. and I was kind of on top of him and he wouldn't stop hitting me so I just went right at the cheek wow yeah it probably got a scar. It and, would anyway, good. your idea about... Well, I wouldn't let go until he stopped punching yeah, me. But your idea about rules of war, you know, uh, it, it's absurd. It is just so absurd. Yeah, it was like, I'm watching this going, well, you know, they're killing women and children. And I'm like, yeah, it's a war. That's what happens. Yeah, but, my, my, but, yeah, but my question is, are the rules of war you kill women and children? The, well, how about the rules of war being... Why don't we all play chess, and whoever wins is the winner of the war? Well, I mean, what was it, that episode of Star Trek where they had a war by proxy, and they could yeah. kill off a certain amount of their people uh, hey, if they were losing? Buddy, well, I mean, not even that. You could go, okay, we're going to play ping pong, and whoever wins, oh, oh, you're the winner of the war, and you get what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I mean, that would work. But all I'm saying is that, you know, how many people do you kill to get to the bad guys? Right. And, and, and I think this has been totally disproportionate. You know, when you say, well, well we just, bo we just bombed that, that building to, to shreds because below it was Hamas. Well, right. come on, you know, I mean, there are women and children and adult men, women, children, seniors, uh, uh, people uh, with uh, life-threatening conditions in and of themselves who are living in that building right. that you just demolished to get to, what, 12 people? I'm and they sorry. Use those, they use those bunker bombs. They, they um, because of where I live, they do uh, testing of those things out here. When they drop one of those babies, it makes a big hole. Oh, yeah, we've seen them on television. Oh, yeah, I know. And I'm like, oh, I it's know like that It's like a hole. crater. Yeah, it, it goes down hundreds of feet. But I, you know, I don't know. It doesn't explode. It doesn't explode at ground level. It goes down and then goes on. Gaza is the size, they told me, of Philadelphia. Okay? Can you imagine how much of that country has been completely demolished? I mean, just yeah, hauling, we, where are they going to haul the rubble away? Yeah, a lot of concrete, apparently. Yeah. Houses made of concrete. Yeah, which I guess if you're waiting for a war, a concrete house is probably a good idea. Uh, well, yeah, but they still blow up. You know. Well, yeah, then yeah. they get bigger bombs, and then uh, you're landed. But you're right. You're right about rules of war. I mean, it, it, they're just uh, you know they have the Geneva Conventions, you know, and all of that. Okay, yeah, we can't do this. We can't do that. We can't do this. Oh, collateral damage because you know Bobby and whatever was next to the place where Hamas was living and. There's a grade school across the street. Yeah, so it seems like you're you're living in um, um, where is it in Nevada again? Uh, um, uh, out, I'm outside of Fallon. You're in suburban Fallon. Yeah, eighty well, sixty miles from Reno, east, in the middle of the desert. And it was named after a late night show host. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, you live in Fallon. It sounds like you're happy with your life in Fallon. I, I grew up in a small town to begin with. I grew up in a, a little little town outside Yellowstone Park called Powell. It's right next to Cody, and um, I'm I'm more comfortable in a small town. I just you know everybody. I had to go beat on the uh, 
local doctor this mm-hmm. morning. Uh, yeah. Because they change doctors in town. So, you know, Marcus Welby is no longer here. We got another Wait a minute, guy. They change, like, there's one doctor for the whole town? In the, in, in the majority of the case, I can answer yes to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. There's one guy everybody goes to. He's retired to, he's decided to retire. They found another guy. Yeah. But he was working at the hospital. And I'll use the word hospital in quotation marks. Mm-hmm. Um, more like a vet clinic. Mm-hmm. But they um, they got him, but he's got a lot of patients from the hospital, so he doesn't have time to go to the doctor's office. So this week, the doctor's office is only open on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I went over there because, you know, we're old, you take pills, right? Mm-hmm. Well, how do I get my res- prescriptions refilled? The doctor has to okay that. But if the doctor isn't looking at anybody's prescriptions because he's working somewhere else, He's not filling, he's not okay in the prescriptions. So I'm about to run out of drugs, as is everybody else in town, by the way. I'm not just me, thousands of people. And uh, the the drugstores won't fill them unless he signs them, not the other guy who used to be the doctor. Mm. So now I find myself, I had to go over to the doctor's office, and then I found out he's not open on Thursday now. So now I probably got to go to the vet clinic slash hospital. But if you need antibiotics, there's a, uh, a horse uh, husbandry place down the street. You can get those. Oh, okay. All right. At the vet, basically. Yeah. But, you know, if you you know you got acne or something, you can get that taken care of. Yeah, okay. How old are you? Woof, woof, woof. Yeah, exactly. You go in there and they just point you to the, you know, Amoxicillin section. Hmm. That's for amazing. cows and horses. It's amazing. I would. I would not. I like it. You I, like it here. It's yeah, quiet. But, slow. Yeah, I don't know There's, if I would, but you know what it is. At my age, I want to be near a really good hospital. Right. So you know what you do if you live in a place like this. You buy helicopter insurance. Helicopter for the whole family. Helicopter insurance. Yep. It's like 50, 60 bucks a year for your entire family. Mm -hmm. And if you have a medical issue, helicopter. Did you, are are you a subscriber? Clinic slash hospital here has a heliport. All the other places have a heliport. I can get heliported all the way to San Francisco. And you pay for that? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50, 60. It's awesome. Now, if you don't have helicopter insurance, and they need to use a helicopter, that's like 15 grand. But I have helicopter insurance. You have helicopter insurance. 50 bucks. Well, and they can get to wherever I need Now, let me, let me, you say you, how many drugs do you take every day? There's a, I don't know, there's, there's a fistful. Yeah, I take six. Or, I take six. Yeah, I, t- I probably take 12. Really? Maybe. Maybe. But some of them are, not, you know, not. Well, you see, know, I want to go to a gerontologist. That's somebody who deals with old people, folks. I'm finally admitting it. And and just have him check all my pills and what I'm taking and right. what my conflict with others, because I'm lightheaded a lot. And I think it's one drug bouncing into another. And uh, a gerontologist... Right, Every time I'm in there, I try to like, hey, can I get rid of this and this and this? And then guys like, I wouldn't do that. Well, you see, the thing is, they think pills are the solution to everything. Right. And eventually, you you know, I started out with like one pill, like you have your cholesterol is too high. Here, take right. this. All right, fine. Then you're, uh, oh, well, you know, your thyroid's a little off. Uh, take this. Right. And then uh, before I know it, I'm up to six, seven pills. I've actually right. dropped a couple voluntarily that I felt weren't doing anything for me. Yeah, my my stepdad's sister, she carried her pills around in a in a fishing tackle box. That's how many she had. Really? She held the record. I mean, it, it was full. Fishing tackle box full of pills. Son of a bitch. She's still with us. Really? Maybe it's working. <laughs> I don't know. What are we going to do? Well, I am alive and then we're not going to be alive. My friend Shecky found he was taking a lot of pills. And then one day he just said, I stopped taking them. 
You know, I just, yeah. you know, I just felt that there were too many of them, and uh, uh, they were having a negative effect on me. And he just stopped them, and he yeah, said, I, mean, I, I, "I haven't felt bad." And then he died. I don't think he died from not taking the pills. Well, he didn't die from not taking. They the They were not pills. keeping him alive. There but might they, have been a couple of pills there that were helping. Are you? Were you taking uh, Flomax? You must be. I, I was. I don't need it anymore. Not anymore. No, they flattened the hell out of my prostate. You know, right. so that, uh, in fact, my doctor, the last time I stuck the finger up there, said, boy, it's gotten flat. You know, because I had radiation, I had seeds. Right, okay? but I thought. So, I, thought so I, I, in fact, I was thinking about today, I was taking a pee. Is this, is this good podcasting, folks? Maybe. I, I, you notice how we always move back to the doctor thing? Yeah. Well, Where we're at, we're always into Well, the, if you go to dinner with old people, all you get is an organ recital. All of it. Yeah. I, yeah. I can, yeah. But anyway, so uh, I uh, I was taking a pee, and I thought to myself, you know, I'm peeing like I was when I was 15. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because, I'm uh, not. I'm, I, you know, the prostate isn't blocking nothing. You know? Mine, I pee normally, and I always, I always have, even though they put me on the Flomax. But apparently, the more you pee, the better it is for your prostate. Oh, Flomax, so, pretty good deal. When I was having yeah, trouble, uh, that was good. Almost everybody our age takes that. Yeah, but I don't need it anymore, so I don't take it. I don't. Know. My wiener barely works. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, got, you got that. There. Any other old people pills? Probably cholesterol you're taking. Cholesterol, um, the heart thing, because I have AFib. Oh, you have AFib. Oh. I have AFib. That was a joy. Um, that'll send you to ICU in yeah. a different town. Um, <laughs> Helicopter time. Yeah, you're taking a little trip. Um, so I got AFib. It's under control, apparently. Yeah. And uh, I take stuff for that. And I take Xarelto. What's Xarelto? I've seen it added. A billion added. dollars. Huh? So is that uh, a blood thinner? Oh, okay. A high-tech blood thinner. It's the one with the commercials, and they, it they, works. They charge, it's, they charge a lot of money for that? Yeah, it's, I want to say 2200 a month or something. But you don't pay that. You have insurance, right? Right. I'm, hey, I have Medicare. Well, I have Medicare, too. Right, and but then I, I but have, I, but I don't pay for, I don't get, I don't get. But then uh, I have, I have a Blue Cross as well. So. Yeah, but do you get you, you which which version of it? Do you have? It's the, a straight Blue Cross. I don't have an advantage, probably. Yeah, uh, I do, and I suggest to people. I know it's going to cost you like three hundred bucks a month, maybe more, but don't get the advantage. Number one, they kill your uh, your uh, Medicare. They take right. over your Medicare, and and it's just not as good. Because there are co-pays there and so on. You get the... My, co my co-pay went away. I, I've had some... And you know, I, I, have had no co I have no co-pay on anything with my... Yeah, with I, my, I'm not paid co-pay. Yeah. So, see, what we talk about as we get older, folks, this is, for you folks out there who are younger, listen to me, and I'm, by younger I mean you're in your 50s, this is what you have to look forward to. You know, like, I may be, Us. I may be a healthier person than you are. Because you've got all that weight, and I don't. I have some, but not. I'm tiny. I'm very tiny. Huh? I'm very tiny. You're very tiny? Yeah. The camera Three. just. The, well, the camera does put 10 pounds on you. <laughs> 320, 30. <laughs> and, I mean, I can get to the car. I sit in the front seat. Yeah. I can walk to the mailbox. I mean,. I don't, you know, I don't, yeah. I I do like to take the mobility cart thing around the grocery store. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like, and, I, and then uh, some of them have robots, and then I chase the robot around the store. That's what you do when you get older. You go to the grocery store, they have cleaning robots, and you chase well, the cleaning I, robot. Well, I if I go to Costco, I can use, yeah. you know, if I want to, but, you know, I just figure some walking is good for me. Right, but Costco is a lot of walking. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's probably too much for me. Oh okay. Well, and I fell over too once, and I now I have that stupid thing on my kidney, that hematoma thing. Oh boy, won't go away because I'm taking a Folks, blood thinner. Folks, I'm glad you joined us now for the organ recital. Yeah, the organ recital. 
<laughs> and I'm not getting the tooth fixed. I decided I like it. Really? I I see this. Yeah. See. But we're, here, we're, here, here's the, here's the difference. Let me just do this quickly. Here's the difference. In the old days, I would get an implant, right? Me too. Uh, this was pulled two weeks ago. I already have the implant in there. And then two months from now, they'll fit me for a tooth. Oh, man. Really fast now. Really fast. Hey, listen, really? we've, we've run out of time again. God. We're having so much fun. We this do. is we what we do lot. now that we got old. Yeah, well, this is all we have to Now we know what we do when we get old. Yeah. You mentioned you and I in a grocery store. Uh, that would be awesome. We'll get carts and we'll cruise Costco. We'll have a race. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good job. And then I can have my little cane and I'll tell people, I, get out of I my got, way. Get out of my way. Yeah, I got a cane. Where We actually hit the, hey, get off my lawn age. Yeah. We'll want to talk to each other. We don't want to talk to anybody. But I else. never owned a lawn, so I couldn't do that. Anyway, yeah, listen, I'm... we've run out of time, my friend. All right, buddy. That's Chuck Farnham, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you I'll be forget. Here it. Pills. Okay. Bye bye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, thank you very much. Oh, let me, uh, let me, uh, oh boy. Uh, Lightheaded again tonight. <clears throat> I, I, I looked up lightheadedness tonight, and it says, "Don't worry about it. It's not nothing very serious. Is lightheaded." So, I don't know. I think it's a the peripheral positional vertigo. Is that it? Is that what it is? Positional vertigo. Anyway, hey everybody, how are you? Good to see you all. Uh, and uh, um, uh, glad to have you with us. And uh, we have a couple of people waiting to uh, go on the program. But uh, let me, uh, before we do that, before we do that, let me tell you something. Uh, I, I watch John Oliver every week because he's very entertaining. He talks a little fast, I think, for an old guy, guy like me to pick up everything. But uh, he's, he's very funny. And he always does something to make trouble. And the latest thing to make trouble is he found out there is this contest going on uh, in uh, New Zealand uh, among the, uh, I guess, the, the Forestry Service or whatever over there, in which every year they get you to vote for the bird of the year. All right? Uh, and so, um, but the one good thing about this contest is no matter where you are in the world, you can vote in this contest. They don't just say New Zealanders only. So John Oliver took this as an important thing to do, and he talked to his, told his audience about it and said, you know, you can vote in this, okay? And he suggested that all of his listeners vote for a particular bird that he likes, and now they, I looked at something and they said that this contest, which normally gets maybe a couple of thousand votes a year, okay, so far has got it in the uh, 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 over 100,000 votes because of John Oliver. And you've got to imagine what the bird is. Of course, it's John Oliver's favorite, which happens to be, are you ready for this? Uh, and I don't even know if I can pronounce it correctly. The Puteki Teki. The Puteki Teki. Now, look at this bird. Isn't he something? Isn't he something, folks? I'm sorry to sound like Bob Hope. That is the Australian Crested Grebe, better known as the Puteki Teki. And the, see the Puteki Teki, if you, if you look here, right here, see he's got another little bird there. That's a baby Puteki Teki. And they, rather than swim behind the mother, swim on the mother's back. And I, do I see another one down here maybe as well? But that is the uh, Puteki Teki and he's asked people to, to uh, make that the bird of the year, the bird of the century. This is bird of the century, excuse me folks, bird of the century. So if you get a chance, go to uh, bird of the year 
I think .com will get you there, birdoftheyear.com. But if not, go to birdoftheyear.org.nz, and that'll get you there. But either way, you can get there, and uh, you can vote for the for the bird that he is uh, he's hot for. So uh, I'm just mentioning it because I thought it was really fun. I think it's unfair to the other birds, but, you know... What the heck? The kiwi usually always wins, you know. And who needs the kiwi? It's to me that shoe polish. Okay. By the way, why they name a shoe polish kiwi? <laughs> kiwi shoe polish. Boy, I can't even talk anymore. Oh, boy. Life is uh, it's getting it's getting it's getting grim, folks. Let me just turn down my brightness here a little bit. I'm a little too bright, I think. And let me see if I can, uh, uh, this, uh, can I change that up a little bit here? Uh, uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I'm trying to, trying to get my picture looking better here. And then if I bring the saturation down a little bit, oh, there we go. Isn't that pretty? You know? Now I look great. See, I should have done this earlier, but no, I decided to do this now. Anyway, it's the Puteki Teki, and you go to, um, what is it? Um, a bird of the year dot org dot nz. Okay, that'll probably, it'll, that'll get you there too, and you can do all the voting you want, right? And you can be from the United States, anywhere in the United States, and uh, you will uh, be able to vote for your favorite. Okay, let me see here. Okay, let's see here. We have some, some people waiting to come on here. And uh, let me see. I want to get rid of that so that I don't get all confused and everything. Okay, there we go. Okay, are you all ready to go, folks? Here we go. Uh, let me see here. We have some people waiting to come on here. And uh, let me see here. Oh, boy. Okay, all right, all right. There we go. Admit all. I'm a little. I'm a little woozy tonight, and so I'm not exactly operating on all cylinders. Ah, oh, there they are. Oh my God! Look at my shirt. What? What do you mean? Look at you. What's wrong with your shirt? No, I because I have it reduced, really small, and it's like sparkly. Oh, what do you mean you had it reduced? I have the full screen like reduced up to the top. So there's small pictures up there. Oh, and I, it's all. Oh, oh, oh I see. well, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, but you reduced what? So instead of the picture like this, mm -hmm. I have it shrunken down. So I have another screen here. Mm -hmm. And because they're all dots, they're like all sparkling around there. Yeah, because all the little dots. Yeah, you know when you wear one of those weird shirts and then it sort of reflects weird off well, the camera. Well, no, that that's called that's called moraine, and that's usually from okay. stripes. It's usually from stripes. Well, it's moraine because it's so small. No, it looked fine here. I, I know, I know. In fact, yeah, that's a really not. handsome shirt, birthday boy. <laughs> wow, you're on Facebook today. That's no, amazing. No, no. <laughs> No, my happy wife, birthday again. My wife, Thank you. my wife was on the uh, on mm -hmm. on uh, your web page, your Facebook page, and noticed and said to me, "You know, it's his birthday, don't you?" And I said, "Well, I do now." And so yeah, you said, "Oh, fine. He's not going to call now." Uh, is it your birthday? <laughs> it, it's your birthday today. Yes, today. Oh, oh okay. So oh, uh, good. I'm glad I didn't miss it. And it's weird. There's like. Now there's another guy I just I just met up with uh, with some car stuff this last week, mm -hmm. and I've sort of known him. But then we like exchange numbers and everything, mm -hmm. and then it's his birthday too. There's like five or six of my friends at their birthday the same day. Really? Yeah, pretty crazy. And it was Marjorie's birthday just a couple of days ago. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. How old are you now? Uh, uh huh. Oh come on, quit being a, like a woman here. <laughs> I'm 56. 56. 56? 56. Really? Okay. That's nothing. Wait till you're 73. Jeez. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm this many. <laughs> anyway. I'm 56 and a half a day. And a half a day? 
12 hours. Yeah. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. cool. Yes. Cool. Anyway, so um, 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 be sure you go online and vote for the Puteki Techie. I already did. You already, already did? did. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's kind of a cute bird, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching, Mar- Marjorie's watching this thing, and by, uh, I guess by um, having to watch TV with her, we're watching this thing that Morgan Freeman did about, you know, the the, the five extinctions and uh, the four, four, were there four extinctions? No, there were five. Uh, there were five. There were five and, great extinctions and so they thi- And they think we're currently getting ready for the sixth. And we're going to cause it. And we're going to cause it. We're, before it was a me, it was a meteor, and then it was also volcanoes. And uh, what else was it? Uh, <laughs> what, what was that in the background? Was that your birth? Was that your birthday present? <laughs> it looked like a pretty good present, but no, that was <laughs> that was. Uh, she was covered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we just lost Brian for a while here. Yeah. Yeah. I think she must have just gotten out of showers, just wrapped in a towel. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Ooh, that was a great two minutes. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> I guess it was the shirt. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> babe, babe. <laughs> anyway. Um... I almost pulled the Pam. Jeez. Yeah. I, Pam I started to say that, but I was... <laughs> Well, Pam went to full Monty. Yeah, <laughs> well, if you got us, want it, hey. Yeah. Boy. Oh, he's calling. Oh, he's calling. Oh, no. Are you okay, Jeff? Okay, there you go. Okay. Yeah. You know, and the funniest thing was, I was listening to that show. I missed that night, and I I skipped over one show, and I'm listening, and I hear Patrick start referring to last night, someone getting right. naked, and I'm like. Oh, and I had to go back to well, the end I, of the I, show and say, who's got naked? C- correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff, but wasn't I real a real gentleman? Didn't I go back and erase it out of out of the show? Or yes, something? you did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, Not that I was I was afraid of being demonetized. If I'm going to be demonetized for anything, it would be that I wouldn't mind that. You know. I thought at that time uh, they weren't giving you a hard time about that. Well, they gave you, they gave you a pretty hard time about anything. They just got to forget it. I don't even want to get into them, you know. But anyway, well, Pam's a real sweetheart, so it was yeah. good that she yeah. did that. Yeah, and hey, uh, Pam, everybody likes you. How yeah. much? How much younger is she than you? Yes, how, many how, many years. How how much younger though? Uh, twelve years. What? How much younger are you than me? Uh, yeah. Twelve. Oh, well, you're still going out with the young chicks, huh? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Robbing the cradle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she's like, uh, she's past the magic. Sixty-five. Now. Sixty-five. I don't think it's robbing the cradle anymore. You know. Well, it's still robbing the cradle for him. Yeah. I, I'm robbing the cradle slightly. Marjorie's four yeah. years younger than me. Yeah. Tiffany's seventeen. <laughs> younger than you. 17 years younger, yeah. Ooh. 40, she's like 38. You lucky dog. 38, 39, 38, 39, something Did you say you're younger or she's younger? She's younger. <laughs> no, if you see her, you know who's younger. <laughs> but you know something? No, and I'm like, I'm like, geez, what was, what was I doing this I was 17 years old? Hmm. I was cruising San Mateo in one of my cars, and I... Could have gone to the hospital and said, "Ooh, I'm going to be with that girl one day." <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Next, next topic. <laughs> yeah. But but that but now that that was your wife, right? That was at the door. I hope yeah. that wasn't Adrian. Yeah. No, it wasn't Adrian. <laughs> it wasn't Adrian. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Adrian's a pretty tall, young girl. And your wife is kind of short, right? No, not short. No, she's uh-huh. five six. Five six. Crazy. Oh, so she just came back from Vietnam, and she she says, "Oh my God, I'm so tall over there." Then I come back to you. And I'm <laughs> short. Silly looks. You know, short f- next to Brian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, we can't tell how tall Brian is because all we do is see him sitting down. 
Yeah. How about that? Does that look better? I don't know. How tall are you? Do you say you're five? I'm probably like this onto you. Yeah. You, is, you say you're five, you're six, six, uh, six, four, six, four. That's pretty tall. Yeah. You're yeah. Kind of tall. yeah. Uh, and you're how tall, Charlie? I have no idea how I'm tall. I'm six feet even. You're yeah. six feet even. How about you? Uh, well, I've met Jeff. He's I'm only four. about five feet tall. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept that. That's not true. We'll give him at least five, six. Yeah, he's <laughs> five, six. Now, what are you? How tall are you? I consider myself to be 5'7". Five, 5'7". Seven. Oh, okay. five, seven. Oh. He, identi he identified to 5'7". Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I am still... 5'5"? Uh, I'm still... Five, five? I give it an inch. God, I are you shrinking, Jeff? Time. Jeff, are you shrinking yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, and yeah. I try to do stretching things. And oh. I'm about the same height I have always been, I think. I'm a little hunched over now, um, you know, because of one thing and yep. another. But, you know, uh, yeah. well, who wants? I've lost a full inch. Really? I was six one most of my adult life. Really? Marjorie, I think, has lost a little. She uh -huh. is, uh, you know, but she's got, she's got a bad back, too, so I don't know. Well, me, too. Really? Yeah. How bad? I've had two back surgeries, two discs removed. Really? She's yeah. had, she's had, oh, 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 she's oh. had surgery too. <clears throat> yeah. That'll reduce your height. You get a disc removed. Yeah, I've been in the. Let's see, how many times has she been in the hospital since we've been together? God, I, you mean two, three times, maybe more? Of course, I've been in the hospital. Well, I had the kidney. And then I had the, uh, uh, what was the other, the prostate thing? Yeah. But th but I wasn't in the hospital overnight for any of those. So, you know, th does that count? I went 13 surgeries. 13 surgeries. 13 times. Yeah, I got to get another one. Get off that number 13. Well, wait a minute. Uh, what is it? They can't get it right? What's what's the problem? No, this is 13 different things. Oh, now. Well, those little tootsies there. Okay, so we have time. So you have... How many? Six toes. That's six. But that was only three surgeries. Wait a minute. How many? Wait, oh, really? You, you ah, have, they got two for one. Yes, yeah. it was two for one sale. Two yeah. vertebrae, six yep. to six toes. Yeah. Anything that's else? Fun. Yeah, I, I've had a tumor removed from the sole of my left foot. Mm hmm. How and about uh, how a, about uh, how about appendix? Do you still got your appendix? Yeah, I still have my appendix. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll have them take that. How about out how about wisdom teeth? Perfect. How about wisdom teeth? No, I, I don't count those, but I've had those. Well, I've had two of they don't count. We've asked what you've had removed. You know. Yeah, those. I guess those are surgeries. Those are surgeries. Yeah, I mean that was yeah. not a simple but thing. Charlie's to okay. Don't worry things. about him. We just prop him up against a building. You know. Yeah. Did you have a rabbi? <laughs> No, I'm not. I didn't have that. I was raised Catholic, so I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm still intact. <laughs> oh, anyway, you know, it's it's uh, it's what 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 the hell? But I have had a vasectomy. That was one of my surgeries. Really? Yeah. I never had a vasectomy. Three kids was enough. Yeah. Well, I didn't have any, so I didn't. Yeah. You know, I wasn't going around going, oh, I got to have a vasectomy now. I yeah, think if, I, now, if, if I, I, I think if I had had two kids, I would have gone out and gotten a vasectomy yeah. after that, and I wouldn't have been too proud to get it. I, I felt it would be my be important for me to do it. Yeah. But you know, either that or I most uh, you know, and I think it's too much to ask the woman every time to be taking responsibility for birth control. You yeah. should you should as well. But if I didn't have two kids, I I wasn't going to do it before I had two kids. Yeah. Let me put it that way. So, yeah. You know. I wonder where, where's, uh, where's, uh, where's, uh, what's his name tonight? Yeah. I can't even Alan. remember. I, I can't even remember what's his name's name. Alan, you talk about. Alan, of course. Yeah, where's so, Alan? He's here. <clears throat> yeah, he's usually always here. But we're here having a happy birthday party for Brian. Did you do anything for your birthday? Work. Just work? You didn't even take the day off? No. <laughs> I always took the day off on my birthday. I know. I'm too busy. <laughs> uh, tomorrow night, the family's going out to dinner. 
Saturday, there's a big car thingy I'm going to up a Sonoma Raceway. Mm-hmm. And Saturday night, go out with my friends. Okay, is that, you mean Sonoma Raceway up near Napa? What's that? What's that place? It's called <laughs> Sears Point, isn't it? Yeah, it used to be called Sears Point. Yeah, yeah. it's not called Sears Point anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's still called Sears Point. Yeah, so but, you, you go to you got on what's that? What's that? Yeah, hi, so, what, what's that highway you go down and then you turn off to go to Sears? Yeah, Point? yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. You go across a swamp is what you do basically. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I've gone from work from there all the way across the swamp and then up to my friend's house in Napa before. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice little drive. Well, it's nice up there. You know what I loved about, about, about let's say, I think it was, I think it was in August. I had a convertible. I had a Nissan, uh, Nissan Z hundred Z hundred X three hundred ZX three hundred ZX yeah. and uh, I would take the top off, and I would uh, maybe I'd have a woman with me, and we'd just drive up to Napa, not to do anything, no. but to drive along through Napa, as the grapes were being picked and stomped Beautiful. on, and whatever, and there was an smell in the air of wine everywhere have you, you ever done that i i go up there a couple of times for drives for you know with friends yeah. of i will go up there but it's like an hour and a half from my house but it's it, yeah it's a nice nice drive but really at nice. night at night the aroma mm. of the of the grapes is just yeah. amazing just amazing yeah. but you know that's a huge area, and you go up there, and everybody's having fun. You know, it's everybody's in a good mood. Everybody. Yeah. Napa's a very nice area. Yeah, yeah. I bet. It's, is it expensive to live up there now? Uh, it's expensive everywhere here. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Too bad. I mean, Are there any I have super- a lot of I have a lot of friends that have moved out, and then for work, and then I'm like, "Are you ever going to move back?" And they're like, "No." It's like so expensive. So, are there any cheap, wonderful places to live in California? Lodi. Huh? Lodi. Lodi. <laughs> Lodi is actually really cheap, and then that, yeah, it, and then it's, and then you know, um, yeah, it's. Uh, but there's nothing to do up there, you know. So, <laughs> it, it, it's it's expensive to live here. But I mean, like, if but you, I if, can hop in my car and meet my friends in five minutes and go do some car drives up in, you know, sa- uh, the Santa Cruz Mountains, you know, the whole Highway 9. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and that goes up from Santa Cruz up here. It goes, you know, all the way down. You go all the way down to San Francisco, you know, mm-hmm. up through San Mateo and Highway 92, all that area. You know, it's, it's beautiful drives. So it's hard to leave this area. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. you know, I mean, um, um, uh, up around uh, Mendocino. Oh yeah, is it is it expensive up there too? Yeah, yeah. really, Tiburon and all that? You crazy? Well, like, no, that Mendocino, yet? Tiburon's <clears throat> in uh, Marin County. I'm talking about uh, Mendocino, up mm. way up north, in Pot yeah. Country. They're yeah, probably even more expensive now. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I uh, I back in the day when it was still legal up there, but there were these literally plantations. Mm-hmm marijuana plantations up there mm-hmm. uh, I went up I my friend had a a friend who was a doctor and he made all his money by writing marijuana recommendations because you could get pot if you had a marijuana recommendation from a doctor ah. and uh, so that's how he made his money he just sat there writing these prescriptions all day yeah you got a hang nail here here's some some uh, pot for you and uh, after I had to go to him because I got the, the uh, what was it, what, what was the thing I got, which was, uh, um, you know, you get shots for it now. Um, Glaucoma? And no, 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 no. You know, the, uh, oh God, see, I can't remember stuff anymore. I got to stop oh. doing this drug that makes me. Cortisone. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to see your temple. Yeah, but, right, that... right under my eye. My Both eye. Are you talking about the surgery you had? No, your no, not surgery. This was, I, I, I it started hurting terribly. Mm-hmm. And oh. I went and saw the doctor and he said, oh, that's 
you've got what do you call it? And it was uh, uh, well, glaucoma is one thing. That no, you it had nothing to do with the eye itself. It had to oh. do with the uh, people get these. They're, they, you know, they get big sores on themselves. Is this sinuses? No, it's guess guess Alex's uh, uh, um, malady. Yeah. What? Don't worry. Gonorrhea of the eye. Gonorrhea of the eye. That's exactly what it was. Thank you very much. Uh, was it? No. <laughs> no. Gonorrhea no. of the eye. No, it was. Look, I had it. Was very painful. Yeah. People. Oh. Get, uh, yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking yeah. about because you can't remember it so either. What you, what you get the uh, the uh, Not vaccination pink eye. for nowadays? Yes, right? yes. What you get the vaccination for now? The skin disease. Yes. Brian, you had it. Oh, you mean uh, shingles? Shingles. 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 Yeah. <laughs> wow, an ailment I've actually had on this panel. That's great. You know, it was really funny about getting shingles. Whenever, whenever I heard about shingles, I thought it was. No, so, there's nothing funny about shingles. No, there's no. nothing funny about shingles. But when I got it, I said, Is, "What do you mean? Sh I have shingles? Isn't that something you get in your ass?" It sounded like <laughs> something you get in your ass. Yeah, I got I'm itching like crazy. I got shingles. But that's hemorrhoids. <laughs> no, but I had. Uh, it on shingles? Was that? <laughs> I, I I had shingles, and uh, so he wrote me a prescription for some stuff, and I went immediately got it taken care of. But then we went back to his place, and of course this is Mendocino, and he's writing prescriptions for marijuana. So what do you think he has? Probably the cream of the crop up there. I never got so loaded in my entire life. My Where all the skunk came from. Huh? Yeah. Skunk weed. Yeah. And then I had to somehow drive home, even though it was a long country <laughs> of roads. Um, <laughs> but man, he brought right up Mendocino. He had his, had his office, his doctor's office. But uh, he probably doesn't make much money on those prescriptions anymore because... You can get it anywhere. You can yeah. get it anywhere now. You can just say my eye itches and they give it to you. But anyway, so but I um so <clears throat> that's it. Well, I'll see you later. No. Um what is it? Anything in the news at all? You know, it's just all the same stuff. Yeah, same stuff. Mm -hmm. Same stuff. Now now Israel says uh, we're every, every every couple of days we're going to do a four hour pause. Yeah. In the bombing of Gaza. Those people can barely walk right now. They have to run if it's four hours for crying out loud. You know. So I don't know. It's just the whole world. Why? What? What? What, what is it with mankind? You know. I'm, as I said, I'm watching this series of the Earth billions of years ago. And the kind of animals that roamed, and you know, of course, humans didn't come by. When did humans finally come around, Charlie? You, you got it. You got. Oh, it. you're talking about Neanderthals about two hundred thousand years ago. Now, and they, they they came from Africa, right? And they worked their yeah. way up, and they went to the southern tip of Europe, I believe, is where the Neanderthals finally died got, out. Finally yeah. died out, and do you know why they died out? Of course, you probably do. Dinosaurs. Well. One of the theories is they just interbred with uh, Homo sapiens. No, that's not what I heard. What I heard was, in this one documentary I saw, is the reason they uh, disappeared was because they were not social. They weren't social, and so therefore they didn't have some. They couldn't survive in numbers because they didn't know how to be social with each other. Yeah. And that they were literally pushed into the sea by the Homo sapiens, who were social and had a social structure. Does that have you heard that one? Yeah, yeah. The the average uh, American, the average person on Earth has about two to three percent of their DNA is Neanderthal DNA. That's how we know we interbred with uh, Neanderthals. Yeah, yeah. So I mean. Uh, 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 Neanderthals. Uh, I don't think we interbred with the Neanderthals, did we? Well, like we did. How, how would get? To, how do we get two percent of uh, Neanderthal DNA in us if we did? Oh, do we have two percent? Yeah, DNA. Or some of us probably have more, it. more than that. Some have more. Some have up to I, four. I think uh, Trump has something like ninety percent. <laughs> oh, yeah, Trump has about ninety percent. <laughs> 
So we do have a little ne Neanderthal in yes. this. But the Neanderthals weren't necessarily a fighting or warring people, were they? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't think so. I mean, but, you know, they, they, they were violent and they were much stronger, much more robust than we are. Really? The way we defeated them was through brain power. Yeah. Yeah. So, and like you said, being social and attacking in groups. Whereas yeah. they didn't do that. Yeah. So anyway, we pushed him into the sea down around, yeah. down around Spain somewhere, I would imagine. No, no, no. Where was it? It was in Spain. Uh, Spain. The tip of Gibraltar is like the oldest, I mean, the youngest caves that we can find with Neanderthal uh, mm. um, drawings mm. and stuff in them. Because there was, I, I watched this whole uh, series on the history of man and how he came up from. Yeah, I'm watching that right now, from, too. Yeah. This is a BBC thing. That I saw. Oh, that's a different one. I'm yeah. watching the, the Morgan Freeman one on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, is is it, what? This isn't the one about the th life on Earth or something. Life, life on, on Earth. Yeah, no, I'm, that's the one we're watching. But this was a thing they did at the BBC, and it literally started and said, "Okay, man somehow wound up started here in Africa." Yeah, we um, know exactly where we started. Yeah. Yeah, um, and they started. Man started here in Africa. And I don't th I don't remember exactly how man suddenly he didn't just appear like that, but he he grew well, I mean, o over tens of thousands of years. Yeah. Well, of course, we crawled out of the water. I think is what happened. We were we were. Now, it had to do with the climate. Uh, Europe was too cold for for humans during the ice age and stuff like that so that's why we couldn't we didn't start there and it wasn't until it started getting warmer neanderthal because of their body type could move into europe earlier yeah than, than cro magnon but, because of the uh yeah uh, their bodies were more you know stout and short and and bulky so they could hold heat better but then they said they went up to they went into what is now europe Yep. And uh, that's where they perished. Yep. And where did the Homo sapiens come from then? We came from Africa and then moved up there as the climate got warmer. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. And moved into Asia too. Mm hmm. I've got this four hour uh, Nova series or something on the on the Anatols that, that goes into all of this. Mm hmm. Goes in the history of man and all that. Was, yeah, well, I'm just. I, mean, I thought it was a big stick, and they hit a rock, and it went flying up into the sky, and then there was a spaceship. Yeah, oh, yes, yes <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, I forgot all about that. You know, somebody. Yes. I was watching somebody discussing that opening to 2001: A Space yeah. Odyssey, and how totally inaccurate it was. Right. To begin with, here's the big question. You've got all these apes, which they did pretty good at little ape costumes there, and they got ballet yeah. dancers. Well, you had to be really high to watch it, too, to play yeah. the apes. What are the pigs doing there? <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> that was supposed to be dinner, but they never got that far, right? No, but, I mean, what, what were the pigs yeah. doing there? You know? And then, of course, they killed the pig, you know? And then, yeah, and they had to eat something. And I want to be the actor who had to stand there while a tiger jumped on him. Yeah. They weren't <laughs> Jews, in, right? You know, but it, 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 it really had no, there was nothing in that scene that was factual, okay? You it, know? Was, it was an idea. It was an allegory or whatever you want to call it. Theory. It was something, you know. I mean, and then this person went on to just watch the picture and tear everything apart in the movie. <laughs> you know, uh, where what was it's, it? It's still an icon. That That is a classic. 2001 mm -hmm. A Space Odyssey. I mean, it's a great picture to look at, and it's a yeah. great picture to go and get stoned and go see. Exactly, yeah. Right? It was the first psychedelic movie, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, it was a perfect movie for its time uh, because people would get really high and go see it. I mean, and yeah. There was one Not guy in the movie theater. Day. Movie theater got up and yelled and screamed and ran down the aisle yelling, I just saw God. You know, I mean, it was a weird experience. I'm not going to do that, Dave. I can't it's do that, Dave. <laughs> What'd you say, uh, Kevin? I said, it's the odd. You know, what I, you know what's funny? I'm watching some old 60s movies. It's funny you said that. 
And I rewatched Easy Rider again, and it was actually a really good movie, Easy Rider, even oh. though it. Had, mm-hmm. But for the time, even it played back. It was well, the I best thought. Phil Spector picture ever made. You're right. He was there under the plane, right? Alex doing the drug deal, right? Yeah, when he, t- he was a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah, I liked it though, because now I'm reading. I took a book out of the library because they're making a movie. Do you ever hear the photographer Danny Lyons? No. No. Okay. Well, did. <laughs> It, 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 this was supposed to be what Easy Rider was based on, the bike riders. Oh. Hmm. So it's kind of like he was a photo journalist, it looks like. So the the, the book, good thing I took it out of the library, because it's like it's his coverage of like he was in a motorcycle gang, like the outlaws from the six, from 63 to like 67. So he says they loosely based Easy Rider on this, which I can see in reading it a little bit. I think it was based on a Dennis Hopper fever dream. Well, yeah, he, he, Alex, did he direct that movie or that whole thing? Yes. That was him, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He did a decent job, though. They, but I wonder if they were really tripping in the cemetery. Well, not that. really a decent <laughs> job. I think, I think he fit, he was credited as the director, but towards the end, they had to get rid of him because he was just, t- he had scenes he shot. Yeah. In fact, I remember the story because. Did you know the cameraman you said one time, Alex? No, no, I knew the guy who edited the film. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, uh, and I don't remember who that was. God. I remember you saying his name. I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, he's well known. He's well. Yeah, known. he's a famous guy. I he was a he director in his own right, and he oh. did my show here in New York. And he talked about it, and he said, "Well, they brought me in." He said because they had all this footage. He shot literally twenty, thirty hours of the bicycle. The bikes just going down the road. Well, and when he I'm edited it, the film was nine hours, and six hours of it was just traveling <laughs> on bikes down the road. That's how stoned Dennis Hopper was. <laughs> he must have, yeah, I was going to say, how much drugs was he taking? The worst, the worst thing he ever did, yeah. though. So he got, he's got this big hit in a movie called Easy Rider, right? Made for $300,000, made millions. And so yep. now, of course, you do that in Hollywood, you're automatically a hero, and every movie company wants you to do the same magic for them. Mm-hmm. Well, Universal hires him. He says, here, mm-hmm. here's, here's, uh, what do you need? You need a half a million dollars? You need a, a million dollars to make a picture? Here's the money, okay? And he goes out and he makes a movie, and what was it called again? Uh, uh, oh, God. Jeez, how come I can't remember? Oh, Was this Hopper now, Alex? Or no, I'll pull him up. This is Hopper. Yeah, um, 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 look it up on IMDb. Let's see, I'm, I'm looking at his work Look now. under Let's directors. See. Director, okay, and, hold on. And, and he made this movie, and he just kept making this movie. And, uh, and it turned out that the thing he was doing was he made the thing in South Bob, America. Huh? Bob Raffaelson? Not in the Bob Raffaelson. That's Bob Raffaelson. Raffaelson, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's what uh, Renshaw was asking. No, uh, what was what was? Uh, I, I could probably look it up faster here than you. Yeah, I'm trying to find it here. Let me go back to his IDB. Uh, that's on. where you always go. That's the Lord. Yeah, I was it. actually reading his Wikipedia page. I was getting sucked in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, here it is. Well, don't sit there reading this while we're doing a radio I'm, show and we're trying. I'm kinda, to... I was getting into reading. This. Hold on, here we go. Dennis Hopper. That was Hopper, not Hopper. Not, not Dennis Dennis. Hopper. Wait a minute, hold on. A I still can't believe he's in Rebel One out of here, 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 here we go, Dennis Hopper. You, oh, you got it? Okay. Well, I got I, I I can get anything faster than you were getting. Yeah, I'm pulling over here. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna look at that. Oh here he's directed yeah, nine pictures. He directed nine pictures? Yeah, he did uh, quite a few more. Uh let well, me see. Probably here. you guys got next week. As a director uh, it was. I'm, I'm gonna are you guys hate, gonna buy also? I'm gonna hate myself when I when I finally see it. The mm-hmm. last movie, of course. But he made this picture called the last movie, and he made it in I think it was Bolivia. Okay, uh, and it's a, it, the idea is a ter- terrific idea for a movie. It's about a guy who uh, is working for this movie company, and they go down to this. As to old Indian village or whatever, and they make this movie, and then he's hired to go down and strike the sets. And in the meantime, all the natives uh, have put up, made what they considered a, pho- a phony camera out of bamboo and whatever, 
and now they're making the movie. But there's a, there are scenes where uh, where there's a scene where the main character dies, and they're using real guns with real bullets. It's it's a it's a weird picture, um, wow. but not a bad idea for a picture, believe it or not. He oh, went maybe there. you're thinking of. Did he direct it head out? No, the no, monkey. No, no, he didn't. Did he or no? No, he didn't. No. no. Okay, I'm looking at his thing. No. Anyway. Oh, sorry. Let me say finish this because I'm in yeah, bad yeah, shape yeah. anyway, and I want to finish yeah, the thought. Exactly. What he did is he was sending back film cans to be developed, right? Mm -hmm. But half of these film cans were filled with cocaine. <laughs> what? And when the movie company found out about this, get out of our studio now. <laughs> And you're never working for us ever again. But send me all the cans. But send us all the I'm cans. Yeah. You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a legendary story in Hollywood. Oh all the God. coke that came back. <laughs> but uh, it was yeah, it was a it was a good film. You know, uh, it, I like it. I have a copy of it. It's a strange, bizarre little film. But the whole idea that he goes down and they they. Capture, oh, movie, capture yeah. him and then force him to be the lead character in the film. And in the original film, the character dies, but they didn't know that people were doing stunts. They thought they were really killing each other. Oh. See? So now they're playing out the movie, but for real. And it he, you know, it, it's an interesting film. It's a very. It says on that thing, Alex, the most controversial film in years, like the, on an AMDB, like, like the movie poster. Yeah, well, that's what the movie poster said. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it does look interesting. We have to check. The title out. was re his picture was retitled "Don't Get High on Your Own Supply," but that that's another story altogether. <laughs> but anyway, um, so uh, you know um, uh, that was uh, I, I can't remember things these days. Jeez, I always remember the last picture show, uh, well, the last movie rather. He, <laughs> Let's see here. Let me get rid of this stuff. How do I get where, where am I? Oh, I see where I am. Okay. Anyway, so that's it. You know. Um, anybody else got anything today? Mm. Oh, by the way, as I said last night, the strike is over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, they're starting to make movies now again, right? Or not yet? Or Yeah. They should be. Yeah. Well, I saw Frank Dresner on the TV. No. She got old. Oh, my God. She got what? She looks like she aged. My mother used to love the nanny, you know. But she's got to be about 65 now, right now. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. Echo, how old is Fran Drescher? She loved that. 70 something. Fran Drescher is 66 years old. 66 years old. 66, yeah. Yeah. God, it's so been a long time now. Hmm? You were right. That strike lasted a long time since May. Oh, it just kept going on and on and on. And it could have probably been ended a lot sooner, you know. But uh, in fact, they did. If I remember correctly, they came to a uh, to a uh, accord, and then all of a sudden, Fran Drescher changed the rules. You mm -hmm. know, um, I think they spent too much time agonizing over AI. To be honest with you. You know, I don't think it's that dangerous. Uh, yes, you can get an AI Jack Nicholson. You can make him up, and it's pretty good, and it looks okay, and it looks fine. In fact, you know, you can go online right now and just type in AI John Lennon, and it looks just like Lennon talking and singing and whatever, even singing a song that he never wrote, okay? But there's just something still that's not right. I mean, you can see yeah. it's fake, though. Well, right? it's you know, not, no, it's not that you can no, see it's, it's fake. It's getting tell. pretty damn good. Really? Yep. It's been getting, yeah. getting damn good. It's getting better but, and better. But what it doesn't have, and it will never have, because you can't do it, is a soul. Yeah. You know, you, it, you can't see it. You what? can't see the soul. You can't see the soul, and you can't generate yeah, it. it. You know, fun. you could you can come damn close. You can have it look like John and sing like John and sing a song like John, 
but it isn't John. Well, isn't that what they did with that latest Beatles song, is they added some AI to it and all like that? It. Well, what they did no. with the only AI that was really done in, in that, that song was John had been singing to a piano. It was just like, you know, a demo he was making. And yeah. they wanted to remove the piano. And the AI, they never could have removed the piano until recently. And the AI allowed them to pull uh, out the, uh, the piano. Uh, it was done by Peter Jackson. You know who did the okay. thing with uh, that they did uh, the Let It Be documentary, mm -hmm. and he uh, uh, so that's that's where they use the AI, but it's still John's voice. Okay. And then you realize when you strip the music away, what an absolutely terrible song it is. So yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You know, I mean, it should have been kept in the vault. I think. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't very good. It wasn't. There's a the reason good. it wasn't released. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, and you can tell, you know, you can tell uh, AI, write a song like John Lennon, and it will write a song like John Lennon, but there's just something it can't capture, you know? And um, I think but that... I think the problem is a lot of people don't feel that, and people don't notice that, and that's what yeah. they're worried about. Well, they, I, know, I, I think the I mean, only... You look yeah. at what they're doing, they're, they're already planning for this crap in the elections, and... and and they're already, you know, they were already starting to do it in the last election. Mm -hmm. And you could tell pretty easily what was going on then. But now it's gotten a little bit better. And, and, and I've seen a couple of the ones that they duplicated, and they're pretty damn good. Well, that's in politics. You know, when it comes yeah, to, it's a different situation. When it comes but, to movies, you know, I, I think that... I would maybe think I would have protected pretty damn I, good with it. I would have protected the membership against AI in this respect mm -hmm. that they can use AI of an actor if the actor approves of it. And, right, isn't and, that what and, they were doing? And gets mm -hmm. paid for it. Yeah, isn't that what they were trying to get? I think uh, they were trying to get more than that, I think. Mm -hmm. And they got it. But they were going to make the actor have to do the you know, the poses or whatever. Okay capture the motion and all that. Yeah, I mean, I think it should be up to the actor whether he wants yeah. to be captured right. in AI or not. I don't think it should just be, oh, you know, we can hire you once and we can use you right. in 20 other movies. Right. You know, that's where I would think it would be a problem. But I don't think AI is that great yet. I don't think it's that sophisticated yet. And yes, one day it will be, but this is only a three-year deal they just signed. There'll be another strike in three years if they yeah, don't come to yeah. an accord. So if things get, if AI gets better by then, then you really ask for it. You know, you really walk out the door on it. But I don't know how long you want to stick around fighting it. You know, there are like uh, what were the, the, the a lot of the things they wanted out of the streaming services. I think were pretty important because uh, they they felt that. You know, with with uh, with movies, they had it so if you made the movie, you got paid so much. Mm -hmm. And then if it went to uh, television, sold to television, you made money again, okay? And if it then went to videotape or whatever, uh, DVD or whatever, you made another, got another check. Um, with streaming, you just did a film and that was it. They owned it forever. Yep. They kept running it over and over again. And there was never any uh, relief. That there was uh, something that had to be worked out, you know. Because up until now, streaming hadn't been that uh, that much of a of a uh, of a factor in the, in the process. So, you know, there were things like that that knelt needed to be dealt with. But I think the strike went way too long, you know. And I, the feel, people I feel sorry for, I don't feel sorry for, you know. You know. Uh, the major actors, they make good money, you know, and they could afford to sit out a strike because, you know, the money was in the bank. But it was the person who's like an extra, as an example. You know, extras make uh, about $185 a day. I'll be interested to see how much the price has gone up here in New York. I might go out for a few, but it's like $192 a day for, for an extra. And they they don't work every day of the week and they don't work every day of the month they maybe they get one job a month who knows but those people 
had no jobs, had no work. Yeah. And these were people more than any others who needed the work. And for, you know, how many months? They, did, they were out of work. They weren't seeing a paycheck. It's pretty, pretty hard, you know, pretty difficult. So I, I felt bad for the rest of the people in my union who weren't part of that uh, 90 per, uh, 10% who are actually working actors, you know. So anyway, but enough of me griping about my union. So um, um, how you doing, Kevin? What's new? Anything with you? Mm, not much. Just go back from Oregon. Yeah, how was your Oregon trip? Oh, yeah. It was awesome. Really? How long were you there? Uh, last Thursday till Tuesday. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we missed yep. you. Yeah, I bet you did. Yeah. <laughs> no, we did. Uh, but no, I had a good time. Went to the game on Saturday. It rained the whole time we were up there. and mm -hmm. It was great. Got to see Sarah, and she played in the... Played in the band, got to see her do her stuff, and was badass. How, is she was enjoying herself? Is shit. she enjoying herself? Oh, yeah. She's having a blast. Did she have reservations when she first went up there? I don't think so. No, she was excited to go, and then when she got there, she got more excited. She's got two good roommates. Um, Yeah. Just got another tattoo yesterday. What? <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> yep. Wow. Yep. So what that yeah, can I uh, ask what the tattoo is of? It's um I can show it to you if you want to see it. Is it it's, a uh, you're gonna she's, show well she's an artist, so you know it's artist kind of thingy dingy. Oh, okay. A moon. Yeah. Um let me show it see, to you. See the only here. problem is, you know, tattoos are big now, but you know, when she gets to be grandma Well you know, they're I gonna say, them, Have you, you seen that right thing now. on grandma's ass? Yeah, <laughs> my mother never would let me get. That's it. what I said That's first of all. I said, "Where are you going to put it?" You know, she always asks us. But I said, "You know, you're 18 now, so yeah, you can get what you want." But it's that's I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That that's Which kind of like a moon. Yeah, yeah that's that, a, that looks like a a a a, 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 a mad kind of a, a mad sperm. Yeah, <laughs> or he's spitting sperm or something. Yeah, yeah it's a no, no, no it's, it's kind. It's kind of nice. Um, and by the way, that could be removed. Could yeah, it? yeah. yeah. Oh, it, really? it, anything black, I believe, can be uh -huh. removed if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it can be messed around and changed. Yeah. Well, the thing is that uh, Kim Kardashian said she would never, ever get a tattoo. She said the reason is you don't put a bumper sticker. On a Bentley, okay. Yep. She said that. Yeah, that's funny actually. <laughs> She's got a big bumper too. Yeah. I yeah. White yeah. On there. <laughs> uh, but she got one. She did. Yep. Yeah, when she did Saturday Night Live, for some reason, the cast members all a couple of them went out and they all got tattoos, and she got one, and she got one in the best place you could get a tattoo, where nobody is ever going to see. And now remember, this is Kim Kardashian. Not seeing it on Kim Kardashian is pretty difficult because we yeah. see every inch of her body every at inch, one yeah. time or another. Right. Where do you, do you think, think where do you think she put it? Back of her neck? Nope. On her coochie. Under her lip or something? I don't know. Right here. Ah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah. Nobody's. You're not going to really have to live with that. But I think about all these people that go on. You get the body, you know, the neck tattoos, the ones that get. Yeah. What about they get it behind the ears? Yeah. Like How Alex? committed are you? Did, it's kind of like you know you, you were showering. Yeah. They say, did you get behind the ears? You know, <laughs> <laughs> her mother would say, did you wash the ears? I got a tattoo. Why she would have killed me? I'd kill him, Leo. <laughs> yeah. These girls get them on the hips now, like yeah. octopus. There's different things swirling. It's like weird. Yeah. 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 Well, it, that's the first thing well, I ask her where are you get. Well, you have and, tattoos, right? Do you have one? No. On, yeah, no, I'm not talking to you, Tony. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> it, it, but you, but uh, Brian has tattoos. I just have one. You have but one? I want that tattoo. Where is it again? It's on your arm. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. wow. Oh, wow. Cadillac. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah. 
Boy, you must love Cadillac. I, ha I had to get something that I would never regret. I never regret that. Yeah. You, 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 you won't regret that. You see, I don't think you would regret, for instance, putting your kid's name on it. Yeah. You know? I'd say Tiff's name, yeah. When she went to Vietnam, she just got, uh, she just got uh, SSA, the, her kid's the initials. Oh, that's nice. See, but that's something you can live with because that's your history. Is that her other one? That's her other one, yeah. That's her, that's cute. her dead cat and her live cat. Yeah. Her dead nice. cat and her live cat? Yeah, the, the one that's alive and the one that died. Which, really? How do I you don't know which happened? is which. Well, if you can't tell which is which, then obviously one's not dead in there and one's not alive. Yeah, yeah. But the that's that's the other. I guess the one with the wing, the one with the wings is dead. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, if I know. would have got it when I was younger, I probably would have had Van Halen across my chest. Oh, yeah. Well, Marjorie has one on her. Right, Marjorie breakfast with Bennett on my chest or back. Yeah, yeah. Marjorie has one on her ankle. And I think I've told I'm you this before. It. Yeah. And it says, Buddy. I like when you said that. Buddy Love? <laughs> well, you didn't marry Check Buddy, dear. You, you didn't <laughs> marry Buddy. Yeah, I think that's, that's why you don't get a girlfriend or a wife. What do you say on. about that, Alex? When you say exactly. exactly. you don't, exactly. you don't, you don't, you don't put a tat get a girlfriend or a wife. You don't put a tattoo on yourself of anything you might have to eat someday. You know, I mean, yeah. it's it, 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 terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. I, I, so that's why I don't get tat. Why I never got a tattoo. I yeah. never had a, a, anything that I felt was enough that I felt I, I uh, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, I would. would I know a tattoo you would get. What one? What? Do like one of those old style microphones, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like a Jack Benny microphone yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 that doesn't bother me. You know, no. that, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't do it for me. I wouldn't get one. I wanted to get one once that just said born to raise hamsters. Why is that? I didn't get it. <laughs> Gerbil. Uh, like the, the Bart Simpson one. This is Moth. He had the heart. He, he was getting mother on there, and his mom yanked him from the tattoo place. So it just says Moth. Moth. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. You know. So, no. Uh, yeah, but she's having a, a good time. Dallas Cowboy star. On my oh, my, I, my friend McCool has <laughs> one. <laughs> you know. Wait, 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 wait. The one guy said it's Super Bowl champs. He had the star Super Bowl champs, and he said like 2015 or something. And that didn't happen. <laughs> well, we're yeah. getting into well, our. You got those ones of the guys who want to do it before the Super Bowl, and they yeah, got to go out and get them fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I mean, I just, I just, uh, the, I, someday you will come to regret whatever you put on. I think. I yeah. mean, I'm not going to yeah. live long enough to see. I don't it. think so. Some people do. Some people depends on what you put on. Well, it's not like Brian got a little Cadillac logo. That's a big sucker. You know, and they yeah. should they should have paid you for that and given you a free. Yeah. Well, that, well, I have two yeah. Cadillacs, but then you, you know, got then got I, cars. Yeah. You're, then I get out of the McLaren, and these guys are looking at me. And go, oh, I guess you regret that one. I said, no, I still have Cadillacs. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you get you, out of the Tesla, though. Then they look at me like, what the. <laughs> <laughs> you really like Cadillacs, so you must have really loved Cadillacs. Oh yeah, I love Cadillacs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it about? I, well, I mean, some other night we'll discuss what. My you... grandfather had Cadillacs. My mom had his Cadillacs after he leased them. She'd buy them and just Cadillacs all. Well, time. I had Cadillacs, but I had them operated on Cadillacs. So, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out your ailment, you should tell me. Another surgery. Version. Hey, Charlie, you had that surgery? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Alex, you could do a whole half hour on, on Charlie's surgeries. Gee, this, <laughs> you, you don't have anybody else. This bag under my eye here is getting... I was trying to figure out what you had. You were saying at the beginning of the show. Did you ever figure out what it was? What? It was, was shingles. Kevin, shingles. what was it? <laughs> no, it was the shingles. Oh, yeah. I didn't... Because like, that's what I got off the couch. So I was trying to figure out what you had. I said, like, what did he have again? <laughs> that's what I gave him Charlie, down. thank you so much for being with us tonight. I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, and Brian, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Just got Brian. another happy couple birthday, of minutes here. Nobody ever want to spend it more than you guys. Birthday. Well, it, it was Saturday night. Or Friday night. <laughs> Jeff, thank you for joining us tonight, as well as cool. Kevin. And, of course, Tony, always nice to have you here. Everybody, give Good a night. big wave goodbye. 
and I will give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Okay. This is I. This is what I got. This is what I got. Not a, anyway, I'll, I'll figure out my eyes later. I think I should go. When I get my money, I'm going to have these bags taken care of. I don't care if I got three minutes left to live, okay? Anyway, that's it for our uh, citizen panel for tonight. We'll be here again tomorrow night. Jack Bishop is next with the intersection, and he'll be taking your calls at GabNet Live on Skype. See you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, if you see her, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night.